Back of the half, Brian Higgins, Matt Rowe, dad's in the middle here. That's all you are today. John Wallace joining us, the Orange legend. Your son is playing for Southern Connecticut State on the court you used to play on. What's tonight like for you, John? Honestly, I was very emotional coming over with uh -huh. a bunch of my friends. Um, get that lump in your throat. Just so happy for him. Um, long time coming and uh, for him to be playing on the court that I that I played on and I uh, left a lot of blood, sweat and tears on is is awesome. And um, I'm hoping they can keep it up. It's the only time this year I won't be pulling for Syracuse fully. As you can see, I have on a <laughs> Southern Connecticut State uh, sweatshirt and a Cuse hat, so I'm, uh, I'm a walking confliction. Yeah, well, I was going to point this out. Some people do like the half jersey. You got the hat and the shirt, <laughs> so we know what you're all about. And uh, What's it been like? It's a lot of pressure for a kid when his dad did what you did to come up and be on the track to play college basketball. How has Joey really handled this over his career? I, I always tell my kids to make their own name. Mm -hmm. um, I, I made my name. I had my good, uh, you know, I had a great time. I, I try not to. St step on their toes, so to speak. I try not to put them in my shadow. I just try to let them be the, themselves and become their own man or or woman for my two daughters. And uh, I, I just kind of play in the back a little bit and just be the father. That, that's that's what we all want to do. We live vicariously through our kids. So I'm, I, I get a chance to sit back and he hits a shot. I'm hitting a shot, you know. And when he messes up, I mess up. So um, we'll we'll talk about the game right after the game. But I, I think he's playing good in the first half. Um, you know, hopefully they can keep it up. I'm obviously we're all shocked that they're up at half, but that, that's a huge confidence boost for the mm -hmm. Southern Connecticut team to, uh, to go up in, in, in the first half with a five point lead. And it, like Matt and I was saying, it should be even more. Yeah. You know, they've missed a couple opportunities, a couple calls here and there. Um, you know, Syrac uh, Syracuse just isn't playing well right now. Um, you know, besides Brissett, no one's really playing with life or energy. So they're going to have to pick that up. I tell you what I'm going to stump for you now I think the next number that goes up in those rafters is going to be yours at 44 uh, you're the last player to wear it outside of Derek he wears half your number 22 but one thing's evident about your son he plays at 110 percent like you did he didn't come in here intimidated made his first three and I what did he say to you on the sideline when he hit his seventh point did he say anything to you he said they can't guard me. <laughs> A typical Wallace. <laughs> he was trash talking a little bit. I said on air you didn't talk trash much, but All right, John, uh, there were some times people couldn't guard you. Let's take you back. 1996, Sweet 16. Here you are against Georgia. How much? How many times do you bring that up, or does that get brought up to you ever since? All then? the time. I, I probably get asked more about that game than any other game in my career. Um, from the way, you know, the dramatic way we came back. Um, you know, it's in the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. and that game led to us going to the Final Four eventually. So it was a it was a huge game. Georgia was a good team, and I and I had four fouls. So it was all the all the narratives that you need to, for the dramatic ending, and uh, you know, to hit the shot at the top of the key. They gave me the three. My foot was on the line. Uh, you know, for the betting purposes, I, I guess it swayed one way or the other. I don't bet, so I don't know. But I've heard a lot of guys, you know, saying, oh, they, that was a two. They jerked us. But, you know, we won the game. That's all I cared about. All right. So besides one of being the biggest shot, so two days later, you beat the Kansas team, go to the Final Four. And then what we really want to watch is what happened after that game when, when you guys were dancing around. <laughs> <laughs> The, the rhythm just got inside his body. Yeah. He couldn't help it. He, yes. couldn't with, he was feeling that Syracuse magic. The the, the Cuses in the house song was like big. It was like a it was like a global song for a little bit. So uh, he was he was feeling it. Al, Al McGuire <laughs> never lacked in uh, having a good time as he did there. We got John Wallace with us, John, and also a lot of Syracuse, Connecticut vibes. You were a freshman when Scott Burrell was a senior yep. at, at UConn. I scored on him a bunch of times. I, I always remind him of that. You, you go guys ahead. split that year. You yeah, guys yeah, split. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that like, those Q's-UConn games back in the day? Always fun. Always, uh, you know, on both sides, of, you know, for Connecticut, there was always three or four NBA guys on their team, and we always had two or three NBA guys on our team, so it always made for great matchups. Myself going against Danielle Marshall and Donnie Marshall and Ray Allen and all those guys. Um, you know, we, we always kind of like split. It was always a, you know, tough, tough battle. It was never like a blowout. It was always a good game. And Jim Calhoun's a legendary coach, just like our coach Beheim. So 
You know, I, I remember our freshman year, I, I think, when uh, we beat them at, at the Harvard, in Hartford. In Hartford. And then we beat them again in Hartford. Then they moved the game our, our junior year to gamble. to gamble. And, you know, it, just, it was just so hard to win. There was, you know, our, the tickets they gave us were on the top of the, the damn <laughs> dome. <laughs> now, Scott Burrell says he was your host. Did you try to repay him back by delivering Joey? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And, and we always bring that up. Scott was my host. Uh, I had a great visit at UConn. Just nothing beats Syracuse. <laughs> I mean, we're the greatest school in, in, in the world, so. All right, John, you give him one, Wallace. That's, That's plenty. plenty. <laughs> Th thanks for joining us. Uh, Thank enjoy you. the season, both Thanks so Cuse much, guys. Appreciate and Southern it. Connecticut. Thanks John so Wallace, one of the best to ever do it here.